deep in the hundred acre wood where Christopher Robin plays, you'll find the enchanted neighborhood of Christopher's childhood days. That's what this picture looks like, Joshua. That's what you've done to Christopher Robin. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Josh. And I'm Jessica. Today we're talking about Disney's Christopher Robin. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. I know, right? I know it, right? <laughs> so, Jessica, what did you like about Christopher Robin? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. No, there were, you know, what I liked about it is I liked the Winnie the Pooh characters, the animal characters, the stuffed animals. I loved Pooh and Piglet Eeyore. and Eeyore and, and Tigger. I loved the voices. Jim Cummings is a genius. I loved yeah. um, the humor and the heart and that just like warmth and sincerity that's always permeated Winnie the Pooh really came through in this movie and um, the affection that you, that people have for those, for those characters those Winnie the Pooh characters, I think, um, is well served by this movie. It just, you know, you really feel, continue to feel that affection for them through what they did in this film. Um, I thought all of the performances were good. Yeah. I, I liked um, Mark Gaddis as the the kind of scumball, Weasley, Weasley <laughs> um, boss, you know. And yeah. Ewan McGregor, of course, is just great. I mean, he's yeah. great in everything. Yeah. And... Um, the little girl who played the daughter, I thought, did a very nice job. And it was beautiful to look at. It was yeah. a beautiful film, visually. Um, and there were lots of little funny moments, you know, things that really made me laugh out loud. There was yeah. a nice humor, but very family-friendly, very very G, kind of what you would definitely expect from a Winnie the Pooh movie. Right. So I like that it... It really um, reflected the tone, I feel like, of the all of the other Winnie the Pooh movies that are out there. Really gentle and um, and warm and humorous. Yeah. What did you like about it? Well, I guess I'll just probably agree with everything you just said. Do a little cut paste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I liked that this was, I mean, for me, a little unexpected. From the trailers, I expect a little more. Uh, fun silliness and merriment and it got something a little bit more somber in tone um, For those who don't know this is a Disney's live-action um, Winnie the Pooh story featured, you know, Christopher Robin around his life growing up as an adult Anyway, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but that's just kind of what you'll see in the trailers um, Yeah, I expected something a lot more like fun and carefree. This is a little bit more serious at points and right. actually I kind of like that um we address like the question of of what happens to us that makes us lose touch with that um, joy that we have as children. Yeah. The things that can happen to us throughout the course of our lives that kind of chip away at that right. childhood innocence and that childhood joy. Yeah, and life kind and, of bearing down on and you. And then kind like of that. how to <laughs> and then kind of how to rediscover it. Yeah, I I did like a lot of that. the The theme of this of the show I did like. Like you, the uh, cinematography I thought was awesome. I mean, the countryside, the forest, uh, even the parts in the city I thought were really well shot. I mean, it's just like almost a character into itself. That was yeah. really great. Um, what about stuff that you did not care for so much? So I felt like the movie was kind of slow to get going. Right. I felt like, um, well, actually, you know, one of the things I liked that I didn't mention earlier was the whole storybook um, kind of motif throughout the film that they used, and they used it heavily in the intro yes, in to the, the credits, movie. Yeah. Um, very reminiscent, again, of the Winnie the Pooh cartoons. Yeah. And so I like that, but, but so the first little intro part I felt was engaging, but then after that I felt like things kind of slowed down, and the plot took a long time to get going to the point where I was fidgety and restless in the theater, and mm -hmm. I was feeling kind of bored, and I was wondering when the, the action was, gonna was really going to kick in. And to me, it just took too long to get there. Once it did kick in, then I enjoyed the rest of the movie. Yeah. But there was a long section there in the beginning where I literally was like, I am bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am bored. Um, was there anything that you didn't like about the movie? Well, 
you know, not not particular. I mean, I do get what you're saying. The setup for the show is pretty long, and it is kind of slow. I mean, if you like a movie that's got the slow burn, then this is the show for you. Um, <laughs> I, I personally didn't mind it. I mean, I guess if there was stuff I was going to dislike about it, it'd be really nitpicky. Um, you know, but not off the top of my head. I think they could have addressed some of the, th the themes a little stronger and kind of maybe... I don't know. It seems like it's trying to be two movies at once, and I guess they should have picked one or the other. Yeah. And so well, that that may be like, if I have a complaint, that would probably be the only one. One of the struggles with a movie like this is they're trying to keep it really family focused, and something that anybody in in your family could go see, right? Like, and I think sometimes that means they can't go as deep into some of these more serious issues, right? That are in there because then they're going to lose. The three-year-old, yeah. you know, there was yeah. this cute little boy. Yeah, behind, behind us. He us was just, was he just, was eating it up. It right. Was great. He was in love every time Winnie the Pooh or one of the, the other animal little friends. animals, you know, yeah. Any of Christopher Robin's friends were on the screen. And he left the theater going, bye, Pooh, which was... That was great. Really cute. <laughs> it was that great. was the best thing about the movie. It was, bye, Pooh. That was so cute. Was. <laughs> so, overall, what did you think? Um, Just for me... That the fact that it just took so long for the plot to get going, it really took away from my enjoyment of the film. So for me, this is like a three. It's just kind of a an average film because of that. I wish that it had the whole movie had felt a bit more like the last thirty to forty five minutes, minutes yeah. or so of the movie. Um, so that yeah, probably a three. What do you think? Well, I'd give this probably a. Three and a half honey pots out of five. <laughs> I I did like it, you know, more than you did. the the uh, The slowness at the beginning it didn't bother me so much. Uh, I think if they kind of, you know, I know why they didn't pick one type of movie over the other, like we were talking about. So yeah, three and a half out of five. Yeah. But I, if that was a good movie, that was a better than average show. But it, I mean, it wasn't like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Right. So. so, Josh, I want to know what happened to you in your childhood <laughs> that you keep bringing us these really disturbing pictures with Winnie the Pooh. Like, did you have some kind of bad Winnie the Pooh experience? No, I love Winnie the Pooh. Nightmare? I think he's great. <laughs> Why do you keep making him evil? I want to understand. He's just helping Christopher Robin find his paper boat. That's all. He, he went into the sewer for it. It's okay. You can trust that bear. Never mind the face paint. That thing's cool. No, I mean, I think I make the connection with this iconography from Winnie the Pooh of, of course, the red balloon from the Paddington right. picture. You know, there's the, and they even have the red balloon, right, in Christopher Robin. Right. 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 There's around. the whole red balloon thing that we know goes with Winnie the Pooh. So I can understand that. And then, of course, Christopher Robin, you do see him in a yellow, yellow slicker, slicker yeah. you know, in some of the cartoons and floating a paper boat and stuff. So yeah. I get it. I just think. It's, it's think, creepy. I, I, I think you're. I think you're a little disturbed. I'm I think fine. we might need to talk about it somewhere later. Nah, we're good. <laughs> I'm good. It's all. It's great. Everything's cool. Anyway, that is it for this uh, edition of Drawing Conclusions. Thanks so much for joining us. No problem. If you want to see the other. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Thank you for joining me, Josh. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> If you want to see the other Winnie the Pooh drawing with uh, Paddington, for our Pad check out our Paddington 2 review. Yeah. And you'll see what we're referring to. Anyway, thanks for joining us, as you said. Yeah. It was a pleasure for me to be here, as it was for you, I'm sure. If you liked this video, please like. Like, ple Don't just like, like it internally. Like, hit the make like a little button. action on your phone or on the computer. Computer. And, and hit like. And then uh, leave us a comment, share this with your friends, put it on social media, you know, all the works. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please, please, please subscribe. And you can check us out on Patreon, and you'll find that link in the video description. Thanks.